Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I got a new product for you. Uh, it's actually been out for a little while, but new to me is this Kiwi's Brake Fluid Tester. And part number is KVBF01. And what's unique about it is you have the ability to take this tester and put it into your reservoir for your brake fluid and determine whether or not it is good, going bad, or if it is bad. And you may ask yourself, well, what's the purpose of something like this? What would be the benefits? Well, hang tight. We'll talk about this real quick. We'll give it a couple shots testing it and we'll give you our overall thoughts on if it's something you guys should be interested in. All right, so just jumping in the back real quick, it is able to test three different types of fluids, dot three, dot four, and dot 5.1. Now this unit is also made in China, and here is another part number down here if you're looking for it. And also you could take a scan here and look up the manuals and information on this as well. But it's worth showing you guys that before we open it up. Now inside, you're gonna have your user manual. It's a very brief manual. Again, a lot of those links if you wanna go find that information out. Uh, but it gives you the how-to on essentially how to use it. Now what's nice about this unit is it's portable, it's small, it is plastic, feels like almost ABS plastic. Here are your little probe tips on the end where it does the testing. And it does have a pocket clip as well. And on the back here is where you're going to gain access to put in those batteries. So, yeah, pretty nice little setup. Got a nice little sticker on there. Looks like it's on there pretty good. Buttons appear to be silicone, so nice as well. And then here's, oh, this is actually nice. So on the fly, in case you forget what it means, there's three color readings that will flash to you on the display as it gives the number. So it'll give you a percentage, 0 to 2, 2 to 3, or 3 plus. Green, meaning good, right? Water, uh, brake fluid is okay. Anything between 0 and 2%, you're good to go. Yellow means water, consider fluid change, and it's 2 to 3%. And then if it's uh, over 3% water, it says change fluid urgently. And the importance of that, guys, is as brake fluid ages, it absorbs water from the atmosphere, from leaks that you have in your system, and water inside of a system, a brake fluid system, especially will start to rust, start to corrode, and it'll actually uh, lead to brake failure. So you wanna make sure your brake fluid is good, and this is a great way to test it, right? You just gotta take it and you dip it inside the fluid, and this will give you a reading back here on the display. We'll quickly tell you if you need to flush that all out or if you're good to go. So hang on tight, we're gonna do a little test here next. Let you guys see about it. Uh, and before I go, just a heads up, it does give you a little buzzer alarm too. And you could find this on Amazon of all places. And I think it's about $13. So really cheap, especially if you guys have a lot of vehicles, you're a technician and you see a lot of vehicles, this will give you a good accurate reading to let your client or customer know if they need to change that out. All right, guys, also we're donating, uh, it does come with the tray. This tray isn't the strongest or best, but if you're looking for something to put inside your toolbox and have a dedicated space, that's great as well. It also has a little allocation for batteries. All right, so to start this thing up, there's the power button here. Give it a little hit, and it gives you a readout here. So it tells you we're on dot three. It's giving us the percentage right now, 0, 0.0. So you hit the S button again, it goes to dot four, dot five, and back. And then if you want to turn it back off, hit the power button. All right, let's test this out. All right, guys, so here we got the pin again. Go ahead, hit the power button. Power's up, and it gives us a zero reading. It's on dot three currently. We need it to be on dot four. Then we'll take that and we will submerge it inside the fluid. And right now it's reading about 2.7. I'm gonna move it around in there just to make sure we're getting an accurate reading. 2.5, it's slowly going down. So. Yeah, about 2.5%. So according to that, that's in the yellow zone, meaning that it's still good. Yeah, 2.3 a little bit. So between 2 and 3%, you're still good. It's kind of in the middle, so it's to the point where it might be worth flushing out the whole system and making sure that we uh, we clean it out. So not bad. Obviously, if you're above, if you're above. 3%, that's going to be a bad spot to be. You're going to want to change out your fluid immediately. But it's also worth noting, I flushed this whole system because I actually did a rear end swap to this truck. And I'd say this fluid in here is probably about five, six years old or so. And I do not live in a humid climate. I live more in an arid climate. Typically, in the cases of these, hold up better to the elements because moisture is not going to be as easily drawn into a system like this. 
Anyways, that's the test of this system. Well, maybe we'll test out one more here next. All right, guys, we're back. We'll go ahead and start this back up again. This unit has not had the fluid tested or even changed in, I think, since I even purchased it. So I've had this vehicle for probably eight plus years, and I don't know that anyone's ever done anything to the fluid. Maybe topped it off. So let's go ahead and test it, see where it comes in at. All right, 2.5, 2.6. I'm actually surprised. I was expecting much worse than that out of this system. I mean, it's in the middle. Obviously, it's not great, but it's definitely acceptable. Now, it's always worth noting, too, guys, in between tests or in between vehicles, do thoroughly clean off the end. You do not want to mix those chemicals or even leave them on here to do any potential corrosion. So, give it a good clean in. Wipe it off. We'll make sure none of that residual stays on there. Well, that concludes this test. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, please keep tuned, and please subscribe down below so you don't miss out on more videos just like this. And, you guys, if you have any comments, please shoot them on over. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Do you guys use these systems? Do you find them to be accurate and helpful? All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon.